let's stick to our strengths, okay? Like our ability to combine Xanax and Pinot Grigio better than a commercial airline pilot. Yes. We, you know, we don't smoke a lot of the pots, but we have an awesome tolerance to all the pharmaceutical meds. You can't roofie us. You can, we, we can't be roofied. I'm telling this right now. The other day, a guy slipped me a roofie. Two hours later, I'm still working out to the P90X video. <laughs> Doing Sudoku puzzles, playing chess against Max von Sydow. Checkmate! That's right, game face. I'm alert. You can't do it. <laughs> That's why you make the best subjects on intervention. Anybody watching the intervention? Yeah. This is my favorite show. I just like to sit down with a big box of wine. <laughs> in my bookie watch intervention because the best subjects are the white women. They're like in their 30s or 40s, right? They're still living at home with their parents. And they're just, you know, mainlining Vicodin off the bathroom floor. They're drinking vodka out of an empty Nutella jar that mm, just didn't. Abusing the, <laughs> abusing the crap out of their poor mom, right? Like she's just yelling out, barking out random commands at her mom like, give me a drink, buy me a puppy, do my roots. women have an unholy connection with dogs. We are very, very dependent on our doggies. We really are, because white women have no barometer. We have no inner gut, no sixth sense. I mean, all my black girlfriends are like, mm-mm, mm-mm, child, no. I ain't vibing it. I'm not feeling it, mm-mm. My Persian friends are all, no, no good, evil eye, evil eye, no good. White women do not recognize a red flag until it's being dipped in chloroform and held over our face. <laughs> being thrown into a windowless van, and even when we're at the bottom of the well lotioning ourselves up, we're like, I don't think I can go on a second date with that guy. <laughs> he did pay, you know. That's why I need, I need my doggy Buster. Because you know, if somebody creepier or untoward comes by, you know, Buster growls. I wish I wasn't so dependent on him, I wish. Well, frankly, I wish my hoo-ha could bark. I really do, I just don't... <laughs> You'd think twice about going in there, wouldn't you? Just, to... just to... I'd be like, totally have all the control. It's like, she just has to get used to you. You know, she's a rescue vagina. Abused by her previous owners. smell. 